Hi, Bobby Thompson here with Crochet Guru, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this easy crochet slouchy hat. Okay, so just so you know, this will be a simple pattern to follow, and the finished size will fit a preteen to an adult woman, and it will be about 20 inches around and 10 inches long. Alright, so read up on the gauge, and always remember that it's important to check your gauge for correct size. The materials we're going to need for this project, some soft worsted weight yarn, and I used Red Heart Love brand. I used approximately 180 yards, and I used the color pewter. I used an I-9 hook, a yarn needle, and three one-inch buttons. You will also need a needle and some thread to sew on the buttons. You will need some scissors and a measuring tape. Also, this hat will not be worked in rounds, instead it will be worked in rows and then stitched together at the end to make a hat. For more information on this hat, click on the link in the description box below. Alright, so before we get started, just a couple of notes. Number one, we're going to chain loosely, and number two, we're going to leave an 18 inch tail before making our slip knot. Okay, so let's go ahead and chain 30. Alright, so before we make our slip knot, we're going to leave about an 18 inch tail, and I will show you what we're going to do with that 18 inch tail later on. So make your slip knot, and now let's go ahead and chain 30. Now remember when you chain, just to chain loosely. Okay, so I'll go ahead and speed up the track now. So if you need to pause the video to finish your chain, go ahead and do that, and then I'll meet you back here to show you what's next. Okay, so go ahead and read up on row one, and then I'll walk you through it step by step. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do on row one is place a single crochet into the second chain from our hook. So let's go ahead and make our first single crochet. Remember that's in the second chain. And now we're going to place two single crochets into our next chain. So there's one, and then two, both into the next chain. And now we're going to skip the next chain and then place two single crochets into the following chain. So again, there's one, and here's two single crochets, both into the same chain. Now we're going to repeat this same pattern across until we get to the last two remaining chains. Okay, so again, we're going to skip one chain and then place two single crochets into the following chain. So there's one, and then two, both into the same chain. Skip the next chain, and place two more single crochets into the following chain. And just keep doing this all the way down until you get to the last two remaining chains on this row. So I'm gonna let you finish up this row, it's pretty simple. And then I'll meet you back here to show you what we're going to do with those last two chains. Okay, so here we are to our two last remaining chains. The first thing we're going to do is skip the next chain. We're going to chain one and then we're going to single crochet into the very last chain. Okay, so now that we're done with the row, you should have 34 stitches. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to do rows two through 40. So go ahead and read up on this pattern and then I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is chain one, and then let's go ahead and turn our work. And now let's go ahead and place a single crochet into the first single crochet on this row. So this first single crochet is right by the chain one. Now we're going to place two single crochets into the next single crochet. So there's one single crochet, and there's two, and those are both worked into the same stitch. Now we're going to skip one single crochet, and place two single crochets into the next stitch. So there's one, and then two single crochets, both worked into the same stitch. Now we're going to repeat this pattern all the way across until we get to the last two remaining stitches. So again, we're going to skip two stitches and place two single crochets into the following stitch. So there's one, and then two single crochets all into that following stitch. So skip the next stitch and then place two single crochets into the following stitch. Skip one stitch and then place two single crochets into the following. We're just going to do this all the way down. Okay, so I'm going to show you this one more time, and then I'll let you finish up this row to the last two remaining chains. So again, skip a stitch and place two single crochets into the following. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video, and then I'll meet you back here to show you what we're going to do with those last two stitches on this row. Okay, so we've made it to our last two stitches, and the first thing we're going to do is skip the next single crochet, 
and place our last single crochet into the last stitch on the previous row. And that will make it so that we end with 34 stitches. Okay, so what we just did for row two, we're going to do the exact same thing on every row up to row 40. So I'm gonna do a little bit of row three with you. And because we're just going to keep repeating the pattern over and over again, I'll let you finish the rest of it up. Okay, so starting on row three, we're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work. We're going to place our first single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to work two single crochets into the following stitch. So there's one and two, both into the same stitch. So again, we're going to skip the next stitch and then place two single crochets into the following stitch. So there's one and there's two. So again, skip the next stitch and place two single crochets into the following stitch. Okay, so I'm going to let you finish up this row and the following 37 rows on your own. Just remember to end with one single crochet into the last stitch on every row. Now if you get confused and you need help, go ahead and rewind this video to minute 318 and it will repeat this process all over again for you. Alright, so after you finish with all 40 rows, you should get about a 22 inch measurement in length. And if you're a little over or a little under, you should still be okay. Okay, so moving on to row 41, we're actually going to be working down the long edge of the hat now. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is chain one. So instead of working in the same direction, we're instead going to turn our work and single crochet down the long edge of the hat. Okay, so we're going to be single crocheting down this long edge and I want you to end up with about 70 single crochets. Okay, so while you're single crocheting down this long edge, you're going to have to do a little bit of guesswork with the number of stitches. And if you end up with a little less than 70 stitches, you should be fine. Now try not to go over 70 stitches or 70 single crochets unless you're making this hat to fit a bigger head. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so that you can see how I'm single crocheting down this long edge. I'm just going right into the top stitch along this edge. And again, I'm just kind of guessing as I go. I'm gonna to try to get come up with about 70 stitches, but like I said, if I get about 65, then it should be fine. Okay, so go ahead and finish up this row and I'll meet you back here to show you what we're going to do next. For rows 42 through 47, we're going to be working into our stitches a little differently. We're going to be working around the stitch rather than into the stitch. And it's almost like a post stitch, but not exactly. And also keep in mind that the chain two will count as a stitch. All right, so here's the pattern for rows 42 through 47. And again, I'll just walk you through this step by step. All right, so the first thing we're going to be doing is chaining two. So there's one and two. Now let's go ahead and turn our work. Now the first thing we're going to do is front post double crochet into our next stitch, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So FPDC means front post double crochet. So I'm first going to show you where the hook goes for this stitch. To do this, we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch, and then we're going to push the hook around the back and through the second stitch. And that's where we're going to put our front posts. So let's place a double crochet into that front post. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, and then push the hook around the back and through the second stitch, and place your first double crochet. Now we're going to place a back post double crochet into our next stitch. So now we're going to do this exactly the same way except for we're going to go through the back of the stitch instead of the front. So yarn over the hook, take your hook to the back of the stitch, insert your hook into that back stitch and around the front into the second stitch and then place a double crochet through those two stitches. Okay, so now we're going to repeat the front post double crochets and the back post double crochets all the way down this row. So again, we're gonna go into the front again. So double crochet into the front post of the next stitch. And now we're going to double crochet into the back post of the following stitch. Okay, so I'm going to let you finish off this row and just remember to keep doing your front posts and your back posts all the way down. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the beginning of row 43 just to make sure you have this down before I let you finish off the rest of these rows. So again, chain two. 
Let's turn our work around. And then again, we're going to place a front post double crochet into the next stitch. And then a back post double crochet into the following stitch. And again, you're just going to do this all the way down this row. So again, let's do a front post double crochet. And then in the following stitch, we're going to do another back post. Okay, so when you're ready, go ahead and pause the video and finish up this row along with rows 44 through 47. And then I'll meet you back here to show you how to put this hat together. Okay, so let's go ahead and fasten off our hat and make sure that you leave an 18 inch tail for attachment. All right, so before you cut your yarn, make sure you have at least 18 inches so that way we can sew our hat together. So make your cut and then fasten off by pulling that tail end through the loop on your hook and then pull tightly to make sure it's secure. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to put this hat together is use a yarn needle and whip stitch the sides of the hat together. So go ahead and thread your tail end of yarn through the yarn needle. Take both sides of the hat and go ahead and place them together. And now all we're going to do is just whip stitch those sides of the hat together. So go ahead and make sure they're matching. Make sure the top is matching and the bottom so that way you can get make sure it's even when you sew it. And you'll notice we have that second yarn strand hanging out as well. We'll use that to whip stitch it together as well just for extra security. So go ahead and just go back and forth through the stitches. And this is basically just called a whip stitch. And again, as you sew this together, just make sure the top of your hat is matching up. All right, so I'm skipping ahead so that I can show you how to do the very last part of the hat. When I'm sewing this last part of the hat, just make sure you go through it a few times. And that way you don't have to worry about the yarn coming loose. Okay, so grab that second yarn strand and use it to sew over what you just did, or you can weave it in and out of the hat a few times if you just wanna cut it off. Okay, so now to cinch the top of the hat, we're going to turn our hats inside out. We're going to use 18 inches of yarn and a yarn needle to cinch the top by weaving the needle in and out along the top edge of the hat at even intervals. Okay, so cut off an 18 inch strand of yarn and thread it through your yarn needle. Attach that strand of yarn to the back of the hat by weaving it in and out of the same stitches. Now we're going to take our needle and weave it in and out along the edge of the hat at even intervals. So I'm just going to weave it in and out all the way along the top of the hat. I'm going to stick with you through this whole process just because this can be a little bit more tricky if you're not sure how to do it. So again, I'm just weaving in and out, making sure it's even. And it doesn't have to be perfectly even, just do the best you can, just so that it cinches up nice and evenly. Okay, so I'm almost back to where I started. And when you get to that point, now what we're going to do is take our yarn strand and just pull it nice and tight. We're gonna pull that hat together, cinch it together. Okay. 
Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Okay, so now just take your needle and make sure you go through that cinched part of the hat so that way it's nice and tight and closed off. So I'm just going to weave back and forth through that cinched area of my hat. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do is just take those two strands of yarn and tie them together. And then when you feel like it's really nice and tight, go ahead and take your scissors and just cut those tail ends off. Okay, so let's go ahead and take our hat and put it right side out again. And I think that's looking really good. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our hat embellishment. For the foundation chain, we're going to chain 25. Okay, so again, to make the embellishment for our hat, we're going to start by chaining 25. So make your slip knot. And go ahead and chain 25. For row one, we're going to double crochet into the fourth chain from our hook, and then in each remaining chain, we'll end up with a total of 23 double crochets. All right, so let's go ahead and count down four chains from our hook, and then insert your first double crochet into that fourth chain. And now let's go ahead and double crochet into each remaining chain. So I'm going to let you finish off this row and just remember that we'll end up with 23 double crochets. Row two, we're going to chain three and then double crochet in each double crochet across for a total of 23 double crochets. Okay, let's start this row off by chaining three. And then we're going to turn our work. And now let's double crochet in each double crochet across. And again, just make sure you come up with 23 double crochets by the time you get done with this row. After you're finished with row two, we're going to fasten off and leave a 10 inch tail for attachment. Okay, so let's go ahead and fasten off. Leave about a 10 inch tail for attachment. Pull the tail end through the loop on your hook, and then pull it tightly. Now let's go ahead and attach this to our hat. So locate where you want the side of your hat to be and place half of this crochet strip on the outside of the hat and the other half on the inside of the hat. And just make sure that both sides, the one on the outside and the one on the inside, are even. Now if you want to make this strip a little bit shorter on your hat, you can do that, but I like mine to be even on both sides. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take our yarn needle and stitch this crochet strip into place. And again, I'm just going to take my yarn needle and weave in and out of my stitches right where I want my crochet strip to be. Now I'm only going to weave in the top part of the strip and the bottom part. I'm not going to weave in the sides because when we attach the buttons, those buttons are going to secure this strip into place. So again, I'm going to go underneath the hat and sew that into place as well. Okay, so let's grab our buttons and place them along this strip and we'll see how we want them to be placed. All right, so go ahead and grab some thread, and the thread can be the same color as your hat, or it can be the same color as your buttons, whatever you prefer. Now I'm also using just a thread needle, but sometimes you can use yarn and a yarn needle if your buttonholes are big enough, so that's up to you. Some hats I actually use yarn and a yarn needle instead of thread and a thread needle. So I'm just stitching in these buttons quickly just to kind of show you how I'm doing it. And I'm just going in and out of the buttonholes, just like you would do a regular button. And I'm just making sure I go through the whole crochet strip. And when you're done, just make sure to fasten off your thread. I just weave in and out of my crochet stitches a few times. Make sure it's secure. And then I'll grab my scissors and just cut that thread off. 
and this is what your finished hat should be looking like. I really hope you enjoyed this slouchy hat tutorial and thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in watching another crochet slouchy hat tutorial, go ahead and click on the picture. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates and more tutorials.